we worked out the plan for this summer's activities uh, without me going to uh, Outflies. So this is actually my first one in uh, the Midwest. I did go to a couple on the West Coast. We did one in Portland uh, a few weeks back, and then we did another one in Seattle a few weeks back. So I went to those. Uh, but I haven't done any of the ones in the Midwest. And at the beginning of the summer, it seemed like a really, to me, it seemed like a really good idea uh, for me to step back a little bit uh, uh, because I've done all, all the ones in the last two years. But what I realized going through the summer is that I missed them desperately. It wasn't just the bratwurst I missed. Uh, it was actually spending time with the people. So when Christy and I were out on the West Coast uh, visiting with alums in uh, Washington and Oregon, uh, that was such a rich, that was such a rich and rewarding experience. We realized, oh goodness, we really missed out on a lot by not doing these this summer. So, I had to go to churchwide assembly this week to give my official report. Uh, three of the presidents have to give an official report to churchwide. The president of uh, Saint Olaf, uh, and then another mediocre school in northern Iowa, <laughs> uh, and the president of Wartburg. The three of us have to give this official report and get. Uh, the assembly uh, to endorse our report, to ratify our report, uh, and, and the churchwide, as some of you know, is in Orlando of all places this year. So I, I was looking at the schedule and I realized I've got to make it back for this for this outflag. If I if I if I don't go to any of them, I've got to be back for this one because I just love them so much. So uh, so I created this travel schedule that was just insane. I was in uh, Orlando this morning on a on a shuttle bus at 4 a.m. headed toward the airport so I could be here with you guys. Uh, and, but I got to say the bratwurst was worth it. <laughs> uh, the bra it's just terrific bratwurst. Uh, hard to get good bratwurst in Orlando. Uh, let me just say a couple of things. Uh, one of the things, I mean, I, I will try not to talk too long, but you know, you guys know, I, once I start talking about Wartburg, I get kind of wrapped up. So uh, maybe maybe Lauren can wave at me at some point if I overstay my welcome. One of the nice things about going to church wide is that I do get to visit with other college presidents. Uh, although there are only three of us who are required to be there, we had about 13 or 14 of us uh, there, and we had lunch together yesterday. And one of the nice things about that gathering, we don't see each other all that all that often, but it's it's wonderful when we are together and when we start talking about issues that we confront, problems we confront, issues we're trying to address, opportunities we're trying to seize. Uh, once again, it's driven home to me in those conversations, particularly the conversations not only with the presidents but also with the folks there from the uh, from the church office in Chicago. We have a great liaison, Mark Wilhelm. Uh, there at the church, uh, church-wide office in Chicago. But as we talk about our, our opportunities, our issues, our challenges, once again, it's driven home to me what a wonderful gift Lutheran higher education is to America and to the world. There is something special about what we're trying to accomplish and what we succeed at accomplishing uh, with our students and for our students. It was driven home to Christy and me when we were out on the West Coast. Again, we got to spend time with alumni from many, many decades. Uh, I guess we, we were with alums uh, from the 40s. The Deers were at one of the events. Uh, and alums all the way up to, I think, the most recent alum was from 2009. So I think, I forget, I think Herman is class of 41 maybe, 42, something like that. So so we, were, we had this huge span of alumni that we were spending time with on the West Coast. And again, it's driven home to us in that very vivid and personal way that our effort to encourage and equip young people uh, to go out and lead lives of leadership and service uh, that express their faith and learning, lives that make a difference in the world, that actually make the world a better place, is a wonderful thing we are, we're able to do. I and mean, we, we, we enjoy, I guess, I guess what we do at Wartburg College is probably the best work that could possibly be done. And a lot, you, earlier on, we had faculty and staff stand up. Uh, they, get to, they get to participate in this work uh, just as I do. And it's a wonderful gift that we have. The, the ability, the opportunity to work with young people, to send them out into the, the world equipped uh, to, to make a big difference. And then I get the pleasure of traveling around and actually seeing those people out making a difference in the world. It's a wonderful opportunity. It's a blessing. So uh, I thank you all for the opportunity I have. To, uh, to do that. I want to encourage all of you, of course, it takes no encouragement because the fact that you're here 
uh, is indication enough that you that you don't need my advice. But I do want to encourage you, just stay connected with the college. We appreciate that so much. It does so much good for us. That connection that we have with alums, we take advantage of in so many ways. We send our current students out to uh, to uh, connect with you for internships, for uh, guidance in service projects, for advice when they're looking for jobs uh, later on in life. So thank you so much for staying connected with us. Come often to every event you can on campus. Uh, I know many of you do, and I appreciate that so much. It is it is meaningful to be part of a college community that is a multi-generational college community. Uh, it's meaningful to our students to understand that it really doesn't matter how old you are, whether you graduated in the class of 41 or you're going to graduate in the class of 2012, as Lauren is. You're still work workers. You're still part of this community. And that's a wonderful message to send to young people, that they never fall away from the community. They are always part of the Warburg family. We're going to begin a campaign later in the year that is designed, that will be designed to furnish us with the resources we need to carry out this strategic plan. The strategic plan goes by uh, the name Cla uh, uh, Living Our Learning, Claiming Our Calling, Transforming Tomorrow. We are going to claim, we're going to redouble our efforts at the college to claim our calling. Our calling which is to equip, to challenge, to nurture young people for lives of leadership and service so that they can make a difference in the world, a positive difference. In order to rededicate ourselves to that calling. We're going to be uh, asking all sorts of people, alums and friends of the college, to support the college financially. I know most of you do support the college financially, and it's a wonderful thing that, uh, that most of you do. We appreciate the annual giving. It's been a remarkable thing over the last couple of years to see annual giving increase, e e despite these terrible financial challenges that we're all facing. Uh, annual giving, the generosity of alums, has increased at about a 10% rate for each year of the last two years. The number of donors has increased by several hundred in each of the last two years. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing for us who work at the college to witness because we know that each of those gifts is translated almost immediately into a new, renewed, or enriched opportunity for the students that we serve. We will be coming back to you in this campaign and asking for your participation in a variety of opportunities, whether it's the annual giving, or scholarship giving, or giving for other special projects. We, uh, we would appreciate your giving us the opportunity to uh, present you with opportunities. And then finally, I want to encourage you just to be, and I know all of you already are, but just, just a little cheerleading here, continue to be stalwart supporters and cheerleaders for the college. Uh, Todd Coleman, often says, when I've been gathering with him, he often says, there are 22,000 Wartburg alums out there. If every Wartburg alum just encouraged one young person, one high school student, to come and take a look at the college, to see if the college is appropriate for him or her for, for, for college education, we would have thousands of students, obviously. Maybe I don't want, maybe I don't want to carry that story out too far, but I mean, the point he's making is that, is that the real difference the real reason that young people will come and take a look at the college and try to assess whether or not it's appropriate for their own uh, their own goals is that personal touch. I mean, we send out all kinds of flyers in the mail, and we put advertisements in magazines, and we do videos, and so on and so forth. And all that's good, I'm sure. But the meaningful connection with young people is the kind of testimonial connection that only alums can give to students. So to those of you who send students our way, high school students, to take a look at the college, thank you very, very much for doing that. But for those of you who maybe haven't done it in recent years, uh, think, think, about, think about that as an opportunity uh, that you might be able to seize. Uh, all of you come into contact with young people. Obviously, Wartburg College is not appropriate for every young person. That One of the wonderful things about America is that we have this very diverse robust higher education system or lack of system. That's a great thing. We have a form of higher education appropriate for every young person. But there are literally thousands of young people out there for whom Wartburg would be the ideal college location, for whom it would be the ideal choice. So just keep your eyes open for young people and send them our way. 
You don't have to do the hard sell. Just encourage them to come visit. And we'll tailor make a visit for them here on the campus. We'd love to have them. For a young person who takes a, takes a liking to Wartburg College as a young person, that we want to be part of the community. And then, let's see, I, I suspect I'm supposed to say something about the credit card and the license plate, but I don't know as much as I'm supposed to know. I know that, I know that, that we're very proud of the fact that uh, we're now able to get a bright orange credit card. Uh, you know, there's, sooner or later, we're going to have orange traffic lights, we're going to have orange, we're gonna have orange trash cans, we're going to have orange trees. I mean, it's just a matter of time before we turn everything in the world orange. Uh, but we're pretty darn excited about the orange credit card, and uh, Jeff, and I suspect Lauren, too, know all the details about how we can acquire one of those. And uh, then we always put in a pitch for the license plates. I am told that, of course, all the colleges and universities in the state are allowed to issue uh, these sort of vanity license plates, but I'm told that 40% of those vanity plates on the road are Wartburg plates, uh, which is kind of cool, isn't it? So, and you can't really, you really can't notice them on the road. So, uh, man, it'd be great to get that up to 50% or maybe even 60%. So, uh, rush out and get a, a, an orange plate uh, as soon as you can. I'm going to stop there. If there are questions, this is probably not a great venue for questions, but I'll be around for a while and would love to visit with any of you about anything, anything you have on your minds. We should close out the evening with, uh, with the loyalty song, and I'm going to ask Don Meyer. Don is a... Don is a, 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 an eternal choir member. Uh, he never passes up an opportunity to sing, and he's good at it.